sleep apnea. It's dogged me my whole life. I did really poorly at school. I couldn't concentrate in class. Can't concentrate half the time now. <laughs> but with graffiti, you can sort of lose yourself in it. And if your mind goes off on tangents when you're sketching or when you're painting, that can often be a good thing. It's an area where I can just let loose. It's the mother shit. Let's get to the gut of it. It's about my journey way back to the mother shit. Let's get you up on it. So turn me up a bit. I don't have a picture of myself being like a like mental. I still don't know if I should be. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't look at my life and go, yeah, kids should be like me. It was more, uh, yeah, out of necessity. There was no one else to do it, so I had to step up and do it. You can't help people that don't want to be helped, but kids who generally have an interest in graffiti and stuff, a lot of them respond pretty positively to it. I don't want people to go through the things that I did where, like, there was no sort of mentoring, there was no people that sort of helped you. And if there's somebody around who can help, like, why not? I was just going out tagging every now and then and um, didn't have uh, access to a lot of the tools that like people from big towns had. They had like better quality paint and they knew all about the nozzles and all that sort of stuff. Before the internet we had none of that and I didn't really know anyone that was actually any good at it so I was emulating what I saw on TV and in other forms of media and magazines and stuff. I was just sort of tagging everything and just thought it was fun and then I realised that I wasn't as good as I thought I was. <laughs> like, I'd be doing all these tags and yeah amongst me and my mates I thought I was pretty fresh but yeah once once the internet age sort of happened there was a whole world out there and the whole world said oh shit <laughs> so I had to pick my game up pretty quickly. All graffiti is art, essentially. Tagging is where it all begins. Learning how to bend the letter comes from tagging. People don't understand how important it really is. They want quality artwork. They don't want tags and all that sort of stuff. But if you take tagging out of graffiti, you're taking the skeleton out of the whole body of it. I think it's got a bit of a stigma of it's only for the young. For a lot of people, life takes over, but for some of us, yeah, <laughs> it'll never die, yeah.